I rise to strongly support this bill, which would increase funding to the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative to $475 million by the year 2026. This funding is essential to the health of the Great Lakes. We have made incredible progress to restore plant and animal habitats, control invasive species, com combat harmful algal blooms, uh, improve water quality, and clean up the environment of this region. Uh, the revitalization of the Buffalo River in my district, which was once declared ecologically dead, environmentally destroyed, is now a destination for nature and recreation and is one of the great success stories of this program. It has yielded impressive economic benefits for every $1 in funding generates $3.35 in economic activity. Let me just also you brought up infrastructure. Your infrastructure program is weak and pathetic. Uh, the president promised a $2 trillion infrastructure bill. Uh, what we need to do, that's equivalent in the last 10 years to what we spent rebuilding the roads and bridges in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, those nations are approximately 35 million people. Uh, everything we build for them, they destroy. Um, we should nation build at home. Madam Speaker, I rise today as we celebrate Black History Month and adopt anti-lynching legislation to recognize civil rights trailblazer, Reverend E. Edward Nash. The son of slaves, Reverend Nash pastored, uh, served as pastor of the Michigan Street Baptist Church in Buffalo, New York, which opened its doors up to a meeting place for abolitionists, anti-lynching activists, and as a stop on the Underground Railroad. Last week, I visited the Nash House, a site on the National Registry of Historic Places, and uh, a, a testament to his work as part of our national story. Our gracious hosts, former Buffalo Council President George K. Arthur and Sharon Jordan Holly, shared with me their vision, enthusiasm, and dedication to Nash, his home, and his legacy. Among his papers are notes from the 1939 Urban League meeting benediction in which he applauds those working to free us from the shackles that hold us in the bondage of narrowness, selfishness, and prejudice. Uh, we, let us heed the advice of Reverend Nash. I yield back the balance of my time.